you always go home for work going, wow, I went to work today, you know? The greater the stakes, the greater the drama. Sometimes you feel like a total waste of space, really, when you look at people who have proper jobs. And then you go, what the, what am I doing? Flouncing around, putting on voices and dressing up. But people need to go to the pictures and people need some sort of escape. Artists don't let people down, like politicians let people down, and bankers let people down. The quality of the work may fluctuate, but they keep making it, they keep trying, and they keep giving some sort of sucker, I think, you know, kind of overpaid, and, and there's a huge amount of stupidity and hot air that, that surrounds it all, and a lot of that I don't subscribe to, but I think sometimes the film can change someone's life. If you can do that through a piece of art, then that's, I feel like you're giving something important back. Gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. Or up you in his arms. I just was realizing that I was I was really into performing, you know, and I wasn't quite sure. I just live performance. I was I really liked playing the guitar and singing, and I really liked acting on stage. This director of a theatre company came in and worked with us for over the course of a few months and I loved it and I kind of, I thought he was just the coolest guy ever. I just developed a huge man crush on him. And then I'd see him out in Cork drinking like in pubs and things and, and, I, and I was like, you gotta give me an audition for a play. Fair play to him, he, he gave me an audition and it was for this play called Disco Pigs. And then it became quite successful. We made the play and then we made the film. We man and woman now. We little babas no more. That kind of changed everything, really. I had never, ever envisaged ever being in a film or being on television or anything like that. I, was, I wanted to be a theater actor. That's what I saw happening, you know, when I decided to go for it. Uh, I moved to London and started to get slightly bigger parts. I did this film called 28 Days Later. Hello! People saw that film and it, people saw it in America. And that definitely was a marker as well because, you know, I was working with Danny Boyle and it was the lead part. I love doing it. I love all the big, I love the, the big scenes. I love working with Helen McCrory. I love working with Paul Anderson. I love working with Tom Hardy. You know, I, 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 I relish those big scenes, um, those confrontational scenes. They're very, very satisfying for an actor when you get that caliber of actor uh, acting up, you know. Uh, so there never, there's, there's nothing that, you always go home for work going, wow, I went to work today, you know. What you want as, a, as a, an actor, or certainly what I want, is to work with people with strong visions, you know, and, and you can't find anybody with a stronger vision than Christopher Nolan, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. he's written, produced and directed this, you know, thing, and it's kind of, kind of phenomenal, and, you know, it, it is still collaborative, like we spent a lot of time on the phone talking about this character and talking about how to pitch it and, and he just kind of left me off to go and do my research and then yeah. bring my research to him and say, look, I've thought this, this and this might be appropriate, so what do you think? So yeah, I mean, you're, there is absolutely scope to collaborate, but you want to work with someone who is that. Still guide you. Yeah, yeah, or it just has, I mean, he, like, he knows exactly every frame of the film as, he, as he's shooting it, you know, which is... Yeah so comforting and you know? it's a real privilege to work with him every time um, I mean there's no argument that he's like, one of the greatest directors around at the moment I think everyone accepts that so as an actor selfishly you want to work with the best people and, and he's definitely one of those and but every 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 relationship between a director and a, an actor should be collaborative I mean it, you know they're the boss and they're the leader and, um, but you know it has to be an exchange of ideas always yeah. it tends to be that I mean I love love watching comedies or whatever but the films that I really really the ones that are close to my heart I guess are the <clears throat> the, the dramatic ones you know and the, the pieces of generally not just films like pieces of art and literature and everything they tend to be the ones I think where the stakes are raised and to me that is drama yeah the greater the stakes the greater the drama and that to me is more compelling to watch and that's I guess the sort of material that I'm drawn to. The lovely environment to, to work in and then we, 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 we had fun and I think you have to do that. You're lucky to be working, you're lucky to be working on such a good project and you, you know you can't go around all sort of sad and 
intense. You know, it's gotta, you gotta <laughs> get through the day. Well, I think you always, you have to learn from each job you do as an actor. You're constantly learning. Um, it's an ongoing learning process, really. Um, um, but this is unique for me, certainly, in having to develop a character over a long period of time and sort of grow with a character. I've never done that before. And I suppose to have the confidence in going that once you've established it and people, you know, have invested in it to a degree, then you can be brave. So I suppose it's that. I've tried to take that from it as a lesson that you can actually be brave with the character and take it places that you mightn't have necessarily thought of at the beginning. I was really aware of the script being fantastic and, and Danny being Danny and I really, really worked at the auditions. I did like five auditions and auditioning is, is a terrible, terrible experience, you know, because, you know, you're not giving a performance. It's a different skill, not one that I'm very good at or was very good at. Danny saw something and took a chance and that is a film I'm very proud of and for some reason it resonated with people and people went to see it. So that's where people you know, began to attempt to pronounce my name. <laughs> um, I've been attempting ever since. There's such an amount of um, resources out there for an actor, you know, nowadays to, to you can research everything and, and I think that is your duty to, to, to do that. Um, but again, you know, I always, when, with every role, mm -hmm. I try to do as much research as possible to have it all available. And once you've done that, kind of leave it behind because you have to focus on the truth of the character and you have to make the character as believable as possible. The challenge should be to try and play as diverse characters as possible. It would get boring for the audience and for the actor if you played characters that were similar all the time. Hop one, one hop two, hop one, two, three. Tish, tish, tish. Flap, flap, flap. We're actors, you know, we're supposed to be able to inhabit different characters. That's kind of the, that's our job. That's what acting should be, surely. It's a big action flick, isn't it? I'm Killian Murphy and I'm an actor, I suppose.